welcome back. Last video, I showed you how to create this slideshow effect with a little bit of movement at the beginning and the movement at the end. Now, the effect is nothing spectacular, but the effect was never the point. The process was the point. I wanted to show you how to package up your custom-built effect into a .settings file and be able to reuse it. The method we used was to take the dot settings file and drop it into the right place depending on your OS. Now for Windows, it is Program Data, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, Templates, Edit, and then Effects. And then I'm going to create a new folder here. We'll call that Waddle Arrow. And then copy that slideshow effect into that folder. And now if I go to my effects library, go to effects, and here's my slideshow effect under a folder called Waddle Arrow. Drop that on there, and there's my effect. Now, if you didn't watch that video, you can watch this video up here, and it'll go through the process of how we get this packaged up. Today, I want to show you an easier way to be able to package this up and get it into the right location. So now I'm in the folder that I saved my dot settings file when we created it. And I've got a, a little PNG file. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to name that Edit. And capitalization matters because DaVinci Resolve is going to eventually look at this folder. doesn't matter where you save this. So in the Edit folder, I'm going to create an Effects folder. And in the Effects folder, I'm going to create Waddle Arrow. All right, so now I have an edit X model arrow, and back in my original folder, I've got my slideshow.settings file, and I've got a PNG file for my logo. And this is going to serve as the icon for the effect that we're dropping in there. So now I've got my slideshow.settings file, and I've got a PNG file named the same name as my dot settings file. So if I copy those into the Waddle Arrow folder that we created over here, and now I'm going to go to this Edit folder. I'm going to do Send to Compressed Folder. Now it's going to create a zip file. I'm going to name this slideshow.zip. Now if I go in and rename this slideshow.zip and change the extension to DRFX, when I hit enter, it's going to say, hey, are you sure? And I'm going to say yes. Now you see that turns into a DRFX file. Double click on this. It's going to ask me if I want to install Slideshow. I'm going to say yes. Now if I go to effects, effects, all the way to the bottom, there's my Slideshow effect with the logo. And I can just drop that onto my next clip. Now if we jump back to the file explorer, if I go into that edit, folder. This also works for transitions, titles, and generators. So if I create a new folder, call that transitions, do the same thing for generators, do the same thing for titles. Anything I create, generators, titles, transitions, if I drop them into this folder structure and then send to compress folder and then change the extension on that to drfx now if you double click on the drfx file and you don't have davinci resolve open it's going to open it up and then it's going to ask you if you want to install it so i hope you found that useful this is a quicker way to deploy custom built effects titles generators please let me know if you'd like to see more of this type of content Thank you, and I'll see you next time.